up? We're gonna go take the track off right this second. And ride around. And ride around. Oh, in the new welcome. in the new side by side. So we decided to trade in the golf cart and trade in the four wheeler. For a Polaris Ranger. For a uh, Polaris Ranger 570 six seater. It's fine. We're enjoying it so far. We'll do a little walk around and show you guys. A lot more useful than the golf cart and the four wheeler. A lot safer. Yeah, probably safer. It's got the seat belts and the mesh doors. All that good stuff. Anyway, we'll show you guys. And then after we ride around for a little while, we're going to plant some potatoes that we've been meaning to do forever. Yeah, we keep forgetting. We'll keep forgetting. Yeah. Good sized pepper. Yeah. And like the zucchinis are coming out. I would step over there, but it's really It's really wet under that. Man, this is awesome. Guys, we got a piece of pepper out of the garden. A big pepper. That's awesome. <laughs> it's the first piece of pepper. First piece of anything. Whoa. Pepper wins the race.
All right, so this is it. It's a uh, 2020 Polaris Ranger 570 dash six. It's the full size six seater with the round bars. So if you guys get one of these and you're looking for accessories, then they've got uh, a bunch of these Polaris Rangers come with the Pro Fit cage. And the Pro Fit cage is not, it doesn't have round bars. It has like a groove built into the roll bar. And that is not this one. Um, if you get like a XP, you know, 900, XP 1000, something like that, it'll have the Pro Fit cage. Don't, no, no, what, no. I don't know where you're getting all these frogs from, but go put them back. Go put them back. Anyway, this, uh, this one right here is the same as the, uh, the 800. The Players Ranger 800 has the same roll cage. A lot of the accessories that fit the 800 fit this 570. It's built on the same chassis. Uh, it'll run about 50 mile an hour, 50, 51 mile an hour. It's got six actual seat belts on it. It's got the uh, turf mode, which we keep it in turf mode about all the time. That's, uh, let's see, right there. So down, that's turf mode. And then if you go in the middle, that's uh, two wheel drive with locks to rear differential. So both wheels turn at the same time. And then if you go all the way to the top, that's on demand four wheel drive. Uh, but honestly, I haven't really needed the four wheel drive yet. I've put it in the differential lock before. Um, but that's about it. It's got pretty good storage. So there's a glove box. And then there's little places everywhere. My phone doesn't fit this selfie stick with the case on it, so every time I have to take the case off. Um, there's all kinds of little storage compartments under here. And then it's got a grab handle right here. And then it's got a grab handle across the back seat for whoever's in the back. And then it's got the hydraulic assist tilt bed. So you just kind of pull this and it dumps on its own. God. I don't know what size tires these are. Pretty small. They look like 25 by... 10, 12, yeah, 25 inch tires, I've seen online a bunch of people putting 28s on these, I, I think it might hold 28s without really a whole lot of work, um, this one's got a hood, the latches underneath here, and then you can get in here, and get to your, uh, you know, coolant reservoir, which looks empty. Huh. Well, that's strange. Maybe that's just an overflow. Hmm. Uh, I have to call and ask about that. I'm not sure. It looks awful low to me. Um, you got a bus bar here. Which you can hook up accessories on. So, anyway. That's pretty much that. We got a roof ordered for it. You need a roof. It's hard riding in the, you know, South Carolina heat without a roof. The sun is pretty unbearable picked up a bunch of sticks we filled the back of it up with sticks about five times yesterday and then dumped them all into a hole that we dug and we're gonna set them on fire and it worked really good for that 
So yeah, like we've already mentioned before, this is pretty much replacing the golf cart and replacing the four-wheeler. They're both uh, they're both for sale. We're hoping to get out of them what we paid for this. And we should. All right, that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, ride along there. That was just us out having a little ride on the new Polaris Ranger 570. Anyway, if you like content like that, then uh, make, you know, comment, let us know, and uh, like, share, and subscribe. We're just kind of bash. Get out of my butt. It's not cool, dude. Anyway, if you guys like uh, content like that, then like, share, and subscribe. We're trying new stuff just to see, uh, you know, what you guys like, what you don't like. Thank you, thank you.